Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these system of equations a plus 1 over b equals to b plus 1 over c equal to c plus 1 over a. And now we are going to find the value of a times b times c. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on very first this one a plus 1 over b equals to b plus 1 over c and here I have copied them down as you can see and now let's compare this first one and the last one and here I have copied them down and finally let's compare these last two. And here I have copied them as well. And now in this next step, let's focus on this equation. And here we are going to move this B on the left hand side. And at the same time, 1 over B, I'm going to move it to the right hand side. So that is going to give us A minus B equal to 1 over C. And when we move this 1 over B on the other side, become negative 1 over b and now the left hand side is going to stay same a minus b equals to and now let me show you how to deal with these fraction when we are subtracting let's go ahead and crisscross so that is going to 1 times b is going to be a b and then we're going to put down minus sign 1 times c is c divided by we are going to multiply out these denominators so that is going to be c times b and now let's make a fraction on the left hand side as well by just putting one underneath this one and let's go ahead and cross multiply so that is going to give us c times b times when we multiply this thing that is going to be a minus b equal to one times b minus c is going to give us b minus c and now let's divide both side by a minus b and on the other side a minus b as well and now we can see that this a minus b and a minus b is gone so we simply ended up with c times b equals to b minus c divided by a minus b let me go ahead and call this our equation number one and now let's focus on this next equation we are going to do the same kind of procedure on this one as well let's move this c on the left hand side and at the same time i'm going to move one over b on the right hand side so that is going to give us a minus c equal to 1 over a minus 1 over b and in the next step a minus c equals to we are going to crisscross once again this one so that is going to give us b minus a divided by a times b and now let's go ahead and uh, put a one underneath this one and now let's cross multiply so that is going to give us uh, and now let's divide both side by a minus c on this side and a minus c on this side as well so this and this is gone so we simply ended up with uh, a times b equal to b minus a divided by a minus c let me call this our equation number two and now let's focus on this equation now let's move this c on the left hand side and at the same time i'm gonna move this one over c on the right hand side so that is going to give us b minus c equal to one over a minus 1 over c and here's our next step b minus c equals to let's crisscross once again so that's going to give us c minus a divided by 
a times c and now let's put one underneath to make it a fraction let's cross multiply and now let's divide both side by b minus c and b minus c on this side as well and now we can see that this b minus c and b minus c is gone so we simply ended up with a times c equal to c minus a divided by b minus c let me go ahead and call this our equation number three and here's our next step let's go ahead and multiply out all these three equations equations one two and three so let's go ahead and multiply them so that first one is c times b and then times a times b and then times a c on the left hand side equal to let's multiply the right hand side as well so b minus c divided by a minus b times b minus a divided by a minus c and then times c minus a divided by b minus c and now when we multiply on the left hand side when we see this thing this could be written as a square times b square and then times c square and equal to and on the right hand side we're going to write down b minus c divided by a minus b times and now let's focus on this one b minus a if we switch them around we can write this one as negative outside we can write uh, times a minus b so we can write this thing as a negative outside and a minus b divided by a minus c times now let's focus on this c minus a we can tweak it and we can write this one as negative outside a minus c so therefore we can write this thing minus outside a minus c divided by b minus c and now we can see on the right hand side this b minus c and this b minus c is gone this a minus b is gone with this a minus b and likewise a minus c is gone with this uh, a minus c so we simply ended up on the left hand side this could be written as uh, a times b times c whole square equal to we ended up with negative one times negative one and on the right hand side negative one times negative one is going to give us positive one let's go ahead and take the square root on both side to undo this square and here we can see this square and square root they undo each other so we simply ended up with a times b times c equal to the square root of one is positive or negative one so that's our answer a times b times c turns out to be a positive or negative one thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye